Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, something a little bit different as you can tell, a little bit sweaty, a little bit red faced. I have just been to the gym and I thought what I would do is record what I actually got up to at the gym and just kind of show you my workout routine. Now this one is um, a chest and tricep routine, it's nothing too strenuous, nothing too serious. Form police, don't have a go at me if you're a fitness expert and watching this. Um, it's just me, it's the way I train, it's what I like to do. Um, I've got a big thing about fitness and trying to get a little bit of nutrition. Or as much nutrition in me as I can do, to try and help. Um, so yeah, I thought it'd be a good idea to bring you something a little bit different from the typical type of gaming. And it's been a little while since I've done a vlog and I'm going to be doing a fishing vlog over the weekend as well because I'm going fishing with my dad. So yeah, hope you enjoy and um, I'll put the full routine list down below in the description box if you want to try it out or anything like that and um, yeah, we will see you on the, uh, on the next one guys. Thank you for stopping by, really appreciate it. Peace. Alright guys, so here we go. What you're watching in the background is the first set and this is a 5x5 five five set on you can either do it as a bench press, but I like to use a Smith machine. I just find that it gives me a little bit more control. Uh, and what I'm aiming to do with this is five sets of five repetitions, and each time I want to try and increase the weight. Now, I'm suffering from a little bit of a neck injury at the moment, so that's kind of hindering sort of like my maximum power output that I can actually achieve whilst doing this. So I started off with 40 went up to 60 and then went up to 70 and just kind of stayed there because I didn't want to push it too far and run the risk of actually injuring myself any further than what I already uh, <coughs> am at the moment. It is getting better, it's just a little issue that I've got with kind of my neck and my traps so I've just got to be careful with that. And one of the things that I like to do with this is I really like to try and control the downward motion and well the positive and the negative on this. Obviously with the positive you want to try and push with a bit of force and a little bit of power but the negative is just as important the one bit of advice that I can give anybody, and I'm no expert by any stretch of the imagination, is to really control the negative as you bring it down, because that is just as important and that's going to really help with in terms of being able for you to be able to get a really good sort of sustained stretch as you're bringing the bar down to your actual chest before you actually push up for the actual squeeze at the top. Uh, and it just kind of works really, really well for me. So you don't really need to rush this by any stretch of the imagination. It's only five repetitions, but it's five by five. And it's just making sure, like I say, that you've got as much control as possible. And I wear wrist straps because I have ridiculously weak wrists and I just tend to find that they help me, especially when I want to increase the weight that I'm actually using. So yeah, just make sure that you're doing a lot of control or as much control as you possibly can do with this. Like I say, the Smith machine just works for me really well. Moving on to the next set, this is just a three by eight, so three sets, eight repetitions, and it's just an incline dumbbell press. And again, just really important to make sure that you are focusing really well on the stretch and the squeeze on this. So again, you don't really wanna rush this. You wanna try and make sure that you're getting as much control as you possibly can do when you're doing all exercises that you're doing to make sure that you get the maximum benefit out of this and I think one of the mistakes it's something that I learned quite early when I was lifting weights is that you try to go as heavy as you possibly can and what you'll find is that your form really does tend to suffer from that and what you will find is that you won't get the maximum benefit that you would normally get from just making sure that your form is as good as it possibly can be. My form's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but if I'm doing a weight that I feel comfortable with, then what you'll find is, is that you get the maximum benefit out of that, and the weight will come over time, definitely. So just control your form. Next we move on to the dips section. I would normally do these weighted, but again, because of the injury that I've got in my trap, I just wanna make sure that I'm getting as much control over this as possible. And again, with this, I'm trying to get as much 
stretch and as much squeeze as I can do for this, for this chest portion. For me, what I tend to find works really well for my chest is that if I lean a little bit further forward, it tends to really give the emphasis on the chest. If you lean backwards, for me, I tend to find that I'm working my, my triceps a little bit. I'm, I might be a little bit weird and completely wrong. But again, it's all about form and control with this. So don't rush any of the exercises that you do just to make sure that you get the maximum benefit possible out of any exercise that you're doing, really. Next, we move on to a slight decline press machine, chest press machine, um, and it's just two sets that you need to do on this. I was starting to feel a little bit fatigued here, and again, a thing that I've got to stress with this, it's important, again, it boils back to form, but if you find that a weight is becoming heavy to the point where your form is being negatively impacted, there is no shame whatsoever at all in decreasing the weight by any stretch of the imagination. What you're really, really again trying to do is, is just focus on the form. The weight will come once you build up your strength and everything. Um, and I had a cold, or I got a cold when I came back from holiday from Spain, and it's taken me a long time to get my strength back up because the cold really knocked me for six, uh, and it put me out of training for, for a good week and a half, two weeks. So don't be afraid to drop that weight. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Next we move down to probably my favourite exercise which is the uh, cable flies. Um, I do three sets with this and I uh, basically I increase um, the weights each time on this. I think I go something like 18, 23 and 30, not massive weights but this is more about trying to get that final pump in. So I do um, two sets of 15 and one set of 12 on the 30 and again it's just about making sure that you're getting that really good stretch and squeeze and really pumping that blood into the into the chest area just as the final sort of kill for this uh, um, for this portion of doing the, the chest exercises. Hopefully, as you can see there, I'm getting a really good sort of stretch and squeeze as I'm moving the weights up and down. And then again, it's just all about control as usual. Make sure you just do weights that you're feeling comfortable. I'm repeating myself, but it's it's an important factor in any form of training that you're doing. Just make sure that you're doing the right sort of things to give you the maximum kind of benefit. If it feels like it's too heavy, just drop the weight down. There's no harm in doing that whatsoever at all. And again, I'm by no means a fitness expert, so this is stuff that I've learned through kind of trial and error and <laughs> maybe slightly injuring myself or pulling something or tweaking something. So yeah, just the form is, is the most important thing. So that's the chest portion worked out now. And now we go into a little bit of a tricep blast which is three sets on each, 12 repetitions on each, um, and I'm doing a reverse grip pull down, which just I find um, focuses really well for my for my triceps. My arms are quite a weak part of mine, so the uh, reverse pull down works really, really well. And then I move into a close grip push down. Again, just something making sure for the stretch and the squeeze at the bottom of that uh, and making sure that obviously you're getting the maximum benefit out of what you're doing. I like to arch my back a little bit and stick my bum out. It tends to work really well for me. It gives that level of focus on, on the triceps quite nicely. You get a good burn from it. And then the finishing exercise that I'm doing here is the overhead um, cables. So again, this is all about the stretch and squeeze. What I like to do is make sure that my forearm touches my tricep to get the maximum stretch and then push out as high as I can at the top on that one. That's going to do it for this video guys, just something a little bit different. I do hope you've enjoyed it, if you have please don't forget to click that like button. If you are new to my channel please also don't forget to subscribe and regular gaming will resume soon. Cheers. Peace.